Hi guys, welcome back to Auron Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to solve vibrations when you hit the brake on BMW 46. Okay, if you have uh, if you have that problem when you are slowing down at high speed, let's like say 65, 70, 75 mile an hour, and you hit the brakes and you feel vibration in your steering wheel moving, well, if it's not a tire, then it's the brakes, which means the rotors are not good. They need to be either replaced or you need to cut them. You need to turn them and make them nice, smooth and straight again. So what we need to do today, we're going to show you how to replace the brake rollers. In our case, we'll be turning them, so we'll not install a new one, but we'll recycle those. And they still have good wipe left in them, but they're too, too glossy and they have a few high spots that you cannot not is on your own, but when you drive and you hit the brakes and it causes vibrations. So you need to take the tire off and now right here with a, I think it's a, it's a 6 mm Allen wrench, you need to remove that screw right here, okay, like that. And now we will need to remove the caliper. So, because the caliper right now it's in the way of the roller, the roller comes out this way and we need to use 16 mm socket and on the back right here let me show you this is the top of the caliper okay this bolt right here and there is one on the bottom let me just try to get a better view okay right there you need to take these ones off and they're pretty pretty tight okay let me hold the tire actually okay it came off it's, it's getting loose now and now we need to do the top one as well and the top one is this one right here again without 16 millimeter and you just get it loose don't forget to get those tight when you're done with the job because that's holding your brake caliper you lose those bolts you're in big trouble you don't have brakes take this one off as well and now what we need to do after you remove that bolt, if you install new rollers, you need to compress the piston, the cylinder. So you need to grab with the screwdriver there, like that, and make room because the new roller will be, the new disc roller will be bigger than the old one because it has no wear at all. And now you can just pull this one out of there. Okay, now it's not in the way. And those, that's where they get really stuck. So it's good to use WD-40 or PB Blaster, apply some on the side like that because that has been built there for quite long this one is a 2005 model but it will be the same for 90, uh, from 99 all the way to 2005 and now with the hammer just tap it gently like that if you hit it too strong you're gonna break it and that's the roller right now and we're just going to go ahead and turn it. The parts store here, they want about 15 bucks a roller to turn them and make them like new again. Okay guys, these are the two phone ones. This one is the one that's not turned, not cut yet. As you can see how bad that thing is. And you can see the edge right here and it's not, it's not perfect at all. And this one is after, after we cut it. it it's been turned at O'Reilly Auto Shop and you can see they did pretty good job. Chargers charged even 10 bucks, not 15. They went down on the price. And what we're we going to do now, we're just going to put this one back together. And you just put it back together the same way we took it apart. And when you put it back together and you're ready, make sure you hit the brake a few times, four or five times, because you will not have brakes at first because the roller now it's a little bit thinner than it used to be and you already compressed it remember with the screwdriver so you have play and now you need to go ahead when you put it back together just hit the brakes before we drive the vehicle to avoid situations that could lead to damaging your car thank you guys for watching us don't forget to subscribe give us a like and stay with us 